Brackish Bowties, based in South Carolina. His company has donated thousands of masks to the healthcare community. Ben, welcome tonight. Tell us about your visit to the White House and with the president. Wow, uh, what a surreal uh, day it was. Um, truly uh, a great memory. But uh, the biggest news of the day, it was bittersweet, was because my co-founder and partner, Jeff Plotner, welcomed his third child, uh, I tell you, into the world. So he was not able to be there with me, but he was there with me in spirit. So it was a special day all around for Brackish family. Well, congratulations to him and to the family. But, but tell us what, what you spoke about with the president and why you were there. Sure, sure. You know, it was it was about the Brackish team. Um, the Brackish team, we have an exceptional group of artists that came up with an idea that um, we could we could help the medical community. We could do our part and contribute to help those on the front lines uh, fighting this COVID-19 battle and, and supply health care masks uh, to those doctors, nurses and, and emergency workers all across the nation. And uh, they came up with the program Masked by the Makers. And uh, when Jeff heard it and he and I talked about it, we just decided to put the pedal to the metal and see how far we could take this thing to help out the nation. Do you think that this administration, President Trump, has been supportive and, and sympathetic to the small business community throughout this crisis? I think the entire uh, leadership in Washington has been supportive. I think we're all going through this together, and only together will we get through this. Um, I don't think it's uh, one man, one party. I think it's everybody coming together collectively. Uh, President Trump's done some great things, but so has everybody. So I, I applaud all the efforts that have been done with the CARES Act, uh, the PPP program, uh, and everything that's been done thus far. It's been a, a wonderful thing where we've been able to retain all of our employees throughout this crisis thus far. So, so you did apply for and receive those PPP loans. How did you find that process? We sure did. Uh, we heard that it was potentially coming down the pipe. Uh, we started amassing numbers early on before the, uh, the criteria was even given out. Uh, we have an incredible accounting team, and um, we started pulling together all kinds of numbers that we felt may be uh, pertinent in this situation. And um, when they released what was going to be required, we had the numbers ready to go, and we sent it to a local bank, South State, South State Bank there in South Carolina, and uh, they fast-tracked it right through us. I think they said we were like number 40, 50th in line in submissions because we had everything ready to go right when they said uh, send it in. So I think that was crucial to getting our uh, funds so quickly. 